Hey, this is Michael from UEN. Uh, I'm in the professional development team. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use Canvas. And I'm going to talk about how to make these pictures that we often put into our tables on a home page um, look the same size and line up a little bit nicer than what you see here in front of you. So to do this, of course, I need to go to edit on my page. And you'll see the work I've already done was to create a table that has five cells going across from left to right, and I've entered in five different pictures that I had previously uploaded to Canvas. But if you look at the pictures, you'll see they look like they're the same size here, with the exception of this one. And even if I resize the picture using the nodes and resize the size of the table, it still throws off the pictures when I go down and click Save. So how do we make these pictures all look the exact same size and line up a little bit more neatly? The trick is that after you add the pictures, and I'll demo that real quick here, let's pretend that picture is not in the file, I will go over to images on the far right, and if I need to upload a new image I'll click here, or I can just look for the image that I've already put in there about Ernest Hemingway, and hopefully I named it. Ernest Hemingway, or at least Hemingway, so it'll be easy to find. There it is. So I've added the picture, and I can resize it, but the best thing to do is to use this picture right here, embed image, the second row of the rich text editor, fifth um, tool from the left. When I click on that, it shows me the image's source, and down here it gives its dimensions. 140 pixels by 140 pixels. So that's the number that I'll use on all of the images to line them up to look the same size. So let's go with a number like 150 and it'll automatically preserve the ratio there. Then I'll click on the next picture and do the exact same thing. Make sure the dimensions are 150 uh, as far as the width goes. That looks good. Do the same here. You'll notice that these pictures are getting a height of 231. I'll come to that in just a second. So two more pictures to do at 150. Making sure they're all the exact same width. Okay, all good. And then when I click Save, now the pictures are all about the same size. They line up a little bit better. It doesn't look really that neat because they're all being pushed to the left and there's this white space here, so one more little task I'll do to clean that up is to make sure that they're all centered using that alignment tool. So I'll just highlight all the rows, click Center. And then one other thing I like to do is get rid of all of these lines, and you can do that in the Table Properties, which is right here. I'll go to the border. I can either make it zero, or I can go to Advanced and make the border style be... Um, hidden. Okay, now you see dotted lines there where there used to be solid lines. And if I click Save, I think that looks a lot better um, than it was before. Even though this picture is square, it's centered, um, and it's just a little bit nicer. And that's how you line up your pictures and make them all the same size. Hope you enjoyed that, and again, if you have any questions, you can always find out more information or sign up for one of our classes at uen.org slash development.